again. Uh, today we have a special purchase from Shane. Welcome back. Good to be back. Yes. Um, so, Shane's been after an eight string for a while. Tell me why. Gen, pretty much. Yeah. More yeah. strings. Yeah, because you did have an Ibanez 7. Geo, yeah, Geo 7 string, but it just wasn't enough. It needs another string, as we can imagine. So, um, we have an Harley Benton R458MN. It's, in, it's just an eight string, and this is it. I don't know how good the V finder is, but. It, uh, it, it is what it is. Um, Obviously, you've heard some tone demo at the beginning of this video, and well, thoughts? It sounds amazing. I think I think the pickups for stock pickups are phenomenal. I mean, like you said when I sent you that video the other day, you said they're really bright, really. You know, yeah, and those are gain. those are the uh, Harley Benton own brand high gain pickups, and that's all they say about them. I don't know what they are, what kind of. I have no clue. Um, but they they they're hot, and to be honest, I'm surprised. Um, we're We'll reveal the price and the link below to the guitar at the end of this video, but let's just say it was more than affordable. Oh, 100%. Considering the eight strings that are on the market as well, I mean, you can't go wrong with the price that this was compared to all the other eight strings, because we've played that, what was it, the Ibanez eight string in PMT yeah. that was yeah, like was 500. Normal. Yeah. And that, like, it doesn't feel any different to this, in my opinion. Yeah. And I've had some people complain that we say cheap guitars when they're like 400, 500 pounds, even though, I mean, people's perception of cheap is each to their own, but um, this one, this is cheap. <laughs> um, and it's it's hard to get anything of the same value. <laughs> it's hard to get anything of the same value for anything less. And it came in what, a week? Yeah, it was ridiculously quick. Yeah, so it came from Toman, um, obviously renowned for the Harley Benton series guitars and the build quality, what's that like? It's phenomenal. For, for, for a stock setup as well, I think the action is, you know, probably the best action I've got on any of my guitars that I own. It doesn't require really any setting up. Like I said earlier, the only issue I have so far is a really fixable issue. It's just the low, the lowest string has got quite a loose machine head, but obviously that can just be tightened up. But apart from that, you know, all the hardware is perfect. Yeah. Action, like I said, amazing. And the neck feels so quick and easy to play for an eight string. Yeah, and so moving on to some of the specs of this guitar, obviously we've got a basswood, basswood body, however you want to say it. And obviously one of the main selling points for this guitar is that it's white. And, Stands out. And that it's got a maple neck with a maple fretboard. They are separate, um, so it doesn't have a skunk stripe if you turn it over. So yeah, as you, as you can see there, um, the next two pieces obviously got different part for the headstock, but um, Tone Man on their website describes it as a D shaped, and would you agree? Yeah, definitely a D, a big D. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> and um, so yeah, so as well as the maple fretboard, you've got an ABS nut. Um, so obviously that won't need changing for a while because it's not bone or anything. Uh, it's this 26 and a half inch scale length. So if you're used to the long boys, this is what you go for. Um, and there isn't really much else. Uh, it's just standard frets. It's basically your average kind of cheap guitar, but frets, much better. The frets feel um, a little bit more comfortable than, especially uh, the ones on my Dean. They feel a little bit big because they're jumbo frets. Yeah. These feel a lot more comfortable to play, a lot easier to actually hit the right notes. Yeah. And the neck finish is kind of a, a satin, so it's not glossy and it's not natural, so to speak, I don't think. It's but still it's smooth. It's, it's smooth, still really smooth. And um, fast by, by what you would have uh, heard earlier. So, let me tell you a bit about how we came about getting this guitar. Obviously, it was a guitar for Shane's birthday, which I contributed some of. <laughs> and um, so, and to be honest, what, what were your first thoughts when you first saw it? When I first saw it, I was surprised at how you know just good it looked. It looked like an amazing guitar, fresh out of the box. I mean, it didn't look like it had anything that made it seem as if it was a cheap guitar. It, you know, you could probably pass this off as a. 600 700 pound guitar if you gave it to someone and said here you go they could 
probably guess oh, around sure. that price, price range. Um, I mean, the finish, it looks absolutely stunning when it first came out, it was fucking shiny. Um, it's just all round good impressions. Okay, we'll go for some... <laughs> um, Shane's just informed me that he doesn't like playing clean. <laughs> Standard, that's a bit like Fluff's clean tone, isn't it? Um, so, here's some distortion. <laughs> so, um, let's start with the neck pickup. Neck pickup. So, um... <laughs> So, well, I mean, that's pretty smooth, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, it, the neck pickup is phenomenal, I think. It, for, you know, the, I don't really know how to describe the, what the neck pickup gives with this, but it's just proper shreddy solo -y tones. I yeah. mean, it doesn't sound too bassy as well. It just sounds perfect, I think. So is it a three-way switch? Yeah, three-way, so you can obviously have it in the middle, but I haven't actually used it in the middle yet. All right, well, give, give it a blast. Um, hmm. then bridge pick That, that's that's, yeah. that's gentle all <laughs> over, isn't it? Beefy. And I think that's the whole reason of these guitars is just gen in general, I, I, or tech, any kind of thing like that. I mean, if you can play tech, which I can, so <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fair. So, how about we get on to how much this guitar actually costs? Which I mean, after shipping and VAT, I think it ended up at one hundred and thirty-five pounds, which. I, I challenge anyone to find an 8-string cheaper than that, brand new, shipped from Germany. And a better quality as well. Yeah, and a better quality. I mean, yeah, you can have an 8-string, it might, it might be shite. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, overall, would you recommend it? Oh, 100%. It's replaced my main guitar so far. I mean, I, obviously my main guitar used to be my 7-string, but now this is pretty much my main guitar because it's just more comfortable to play. I mean, it didn't take a lot to go from a seven string to an eight string. I thought it would, but it didn't feel that much different. Um, and it's just all round, it's just a better guitar than obviously my last guitar, which is more expensive. Yeah. Which is surprising. And is there anything you don't like about it? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sure if I play it after a year or so, there's maybe one or two things I could find, but so, so I mean, far, that's good, for, as a, yeah, as a, stock, as a stock guitar, as it comes for the price that it comes, it's just, you can't really complain at all yeah excellent well thanks for watching uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time for my new guitar see you later <laughs>